So you're quarantined. The kids are at home. You want them to learn. They want to have fun. I may just have the game for you. Uh, hey, it's Constellations. It uh, plays two to four and uh, eight years old or up. And it plays between 30 and 60 minutes. And this could be the game for you. Let's go check it out. So this is Constellations. This is a cool game because first of all, look at these uh, cool little hex tiles. So you got fun little cartoons on there and you might be able to see the little stars that actually make up the constellation patterns that are hidden inside that uh, constellation graphic cartoon. And the kids gotta love it. The game is pretty simple. You start off with a constellation in the middle and then people are gonna be using these cards and they're gonna be paying these star cards in order to put these constellations in play and they're going to just dump them all over the board it's really really cool as a matter of fact they're just going to pay the cost here and then they're going to flip them over they're going to put these constellations over here and the kids get to really develop a wonderful little tile creation of all the constellations in the sky and the gameplay is pretty easy because you have one of three things that you can do per turn that's right it's all you do is going to do one thing i know how to play this game who says i don't know how to play this game you got one of three things that you can do in your turn you can only do one thing on your turn the first thing you can do is you can take one of these cards now you might be saying why do i want a star card well first of all they're very educational they got little fun facts on there i don't know if you know this but you know the brightest star in sirius a is an a type of star it's it's right there that's how i know so while you're waiting your turn you can be reading about fun little star facts now these star cards will help you pay for or i guess form a constellation right over here for instance if i want to form this constellation i'm going to need a b star an a star actually i need four b stars don't i and i also need an a star an f star a g star and an m star and if you take a look at this row well i got some b's i got some m's i got an a i'll have to do a little bit more work but that's how that goes so on your turn you can take one of these card offerings or take one from the top of the deck now you're probably asking well what else can i do on my turn well you can also reserve a constellation hex tile that's right because you're saving up all your star cards you want to pay for one of these you don't want someone to steal that out from under you so you get to go hey you know what i'm going to reserve this that way i can form this pay for this later uh, you could be reserving it for yourself, or maybe you notice that maybe, I don't know, maybe kids call that hate drafting. And the third thing you can do is you can actually pay for one of the constellations you've reserved or from one in the offer pile. And it's pretty simple. You're just going to take your cards and you're going to do it. For instance, let's just say I want Perseus here. I don't want Perseus. That's the wrong one. Let's forget Perseus. Who wants that one? I want Pisces because I can actually pay for that because that's what I have in my hand. So if I want to pay for Pisces, it's simple. I just will take an A card. Oh, I need two Fs. Luckily, I have two Fs over here. And then I need a two Gs. Well, I've got one G and two G. I can now take that card. Oh, by the way, if I didn't have A, for instance, I can use one of these special wild stars. The O is wild. I get myself seven victory points, that simple. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. I take the seven, put it over here. By the way, you get to put them face down. Nobody knows what I got no mo's. And then afterwards, I can check to see if I do a bonus. That's right, you get to see if you can place this in such a way where you'll get some bonus points. If I can place this next to Aries or place this next to Cletus, I can get two points. If I can place it between both of them, near both, I'm gonna get four points. And hey, look at this! This is a coincidence. There's Aries and there's Cletus. Or is that uh, Cetus? Okay, Cletus. He works on a farm. Never mind him. So yes, I'm going to put it next to Cetus and Aries. And look, I'm going to get an extra four points for that. Now, the other thing I can do is I've got, you notice these colorful symbols on there. I can rotate my hex to see if I can get even more points because the more symbols that I can match up, that's a point for each symbol I can match up. So let's see what I can do over here. I think the best I can do is just match it this way. Not the greatest match, but I've matched that symbol there and I've matched that symbol there. That's one, two more points. So I get seven points for that, which I already got. I get two points for matching Cetus or Cletus. I get two points for matching Aries. And I finally get two points for those things over there. That adds up to uh, a lot of points. What is that? Seven, five, that's a lot, that's good. And nobody knows anyway, I could turn them over and find out. And you keep doing that till the game ends. Oh, how does the game end? Well, you see this stack? When it's all gone and you finally flip the last tile over there, I probably should have set that up better, but the idea is when you flip the last tile, wait, get out of there, you. But anyway, so when you flip the last tile, that triggers the end of the game. Everybody gets one more turn, including the person that flipped the last tile. 
and then the game be over. You add up all your points, see who wins, and they, I would hope to have more points than this. I mean, I mean, they got like a 50 point hurdle. You'll also find advanced rules in the rule book, plus solo and team play rules, and you're also gonna find a stargazing handbook. Lots of cool facts about stars. So while kids are playing, they might be learning, and then afterwards they can take a look at all this cool stuff. Hey, they even have, look at this, a crossword puzzle. A stargazing constellation, that's, yeah, anyway. Uh, it's constellations, you can get this at your friendly local game store. I like to go to Zulu's Board Game Cafe in Bothell or Mox Boarding House in Ballard or Bellevue. They definitely have this at Amazon. Constellations, until next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time until, yeah. I should probably come up with something better than that. Like I'm, play, play games with people. Yeah, that's it.